respected chief guest reverend father jacob vice principal pta members staff and my dear michaelites a very good morning to one and all have you all seen the movie thani varuvan acted by jayam ravi i to have a hero in my life his name is mr piyush manush have you all heard about him he is an environmental activist from salem you all might be wondering what is the connection between piyush and christmas well definitely there are connections are there and i will come little later the whole world was moving at the top gear at neck breaking speed suddenly the deadly virus covid-19 has brought down the whole world to a standstill it may be an act of god warning mankind of the impending danger that is waiting to happen sooner or later unfortunately we are the recipient of it and it is a blessing in disguise because covid-19 has brought down the the pollution level such a way level that such a way that we could easily notice the mount everest from a long distance the lakes and water bodies have become much cleaner than before and mr piyush is exactly doing the restoring act of protecting the environment and nature and what is the christmas to do with us and i look at and admire the christ virtues and values that he stood for in his life he questioned challenged criticized the authorities of jewish people who were irrational and unjust in their practices of following the rules and he vehemently fought for it and he was so courageous and confident too to fight against those unrealistic practices and i could find the same passion and vigor of christ in piyush because he spends his time and energy in protecting the environment and he goes around desilting the water bodies providing job opportunities promoting of afforestation even at times he was even being harassed and tortured for standing up to his values but nevertheless he never gave up and i would like to narrate an incident of a teacher who worked in one of our schools in Vaina districts of Kerala his name is mr vengadesh he was living deep in the jungle and that particular year he took a break from this his teaching and he wanted to do farming so he called me to his house as i was traveling towards his house and i could found the roads were unmotorable and at the side of the road i could find the shrubs and bushes standing up to 8 feet at any given time you could encounter wild animals and when he took around me to visit his farmhouse the crops and the coconut trees were uprooted and mr vengresh told me that the previous night the wild elephants came and damaged all the crops and the coconut trees and i was trying to sympathize with him and trying to console him and the reply that came really shook me mr vendish told me that the poor elephants have nothing else to eat that's why they came and visited my farm i did not know how many of us could make a such a statement we have seen the real heroes in movies who earn their livelihood but these are the real heroes like mr vengadesh and mr piyush who genuinely work for the welfare of the people and that is not find fault with the government officials and political parties for everything let us act and contribute something to protect the environment to protect the nature and to contribute something to the welfare of the people and love for each other is much better than love for the whole human kind let us not be satisfied and decorating our homes to celebrate the christmas and baking cakes or making the cribs and having a party and, and finding enjoyment only for ourselves 
and there are millions of ways we could contribute something. No matter how insignificant it can be, let us do something to restore the environment and nature. And let us not forget to browse through the net to know more about Piyush Manush, who makes a difference in people's life. Can I make a difference in others' life? That might bring me closer to God and closer to Christ. Then the Christmas become more relevant and meaningful. Let not the external celebration overshadow the inner goodness that can contribute something to the least of my brethren. Let me quote the thought of Mr. Thomas Merton. Love is the true destiny. We don't find the meaning of love by loving ourselves alone. We find it and loving another. Let us reach out to another people. Let us reach out to the people, those who are deserving and poor. Let us live and relive the Christmas in our day-to-day -day life. Let us not wait for the auspicious day to celebrate Christmas. Wishing you all a Merry Christmas and prosperous New Year. May God bless all of us. Thank you.